All right, welcome back to Kevin McCain Studios and Idaho Art Classes. So today we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about how to draw some trees. So I already had a video where we talked about the basic ideas of a tree where we have, you know, what's the basic shape. This is one of the ones that is kind of like a feather. Um, of course, we're going to have the trunk. We're going to have the, the limbs coming out. We're going to have the clumpings of the needles. Um, you know, which for this tree is basically its leaves and all that good stuff. Um, but we're going to go ahead and draw this particular tree and then we'll do, a, you know, a, another tree over here that I believe is a birch tree. Uh, the leaves are fairly small, but they don't look round enough to, to me to be a, an aspen. Um, in terms of the materials we're going to use, we're going to use the five pencils. So we have a 2H pencil and a 4H pencil, HB, 2B, 4B, all four. Or if we do them, you know, if we named them in order, we could start with a 4B, 2B, HB, 2H, and 4H. Remember the 4H is the lightest, the 4B is the darkest, everything in between. Um, mostly for this drawing, I'm most likely gonna be using my HB pencil for the sketching period and then uh, either my 4B or my 2B. I'm just going to see how it goes. I'll make that decision a little later. I also have my kneaded eraser, and that'll be all the tools that I'll be using for this particular drawing. Um, if someone is wondering what this is, this is just an extender. This pencil is kind of short, so you can buy these at any art store where you can take the short pencil, stick it in there, and then this little cuff is threaded, and that locks it down to give you a little more length. So nothing special about the pencil, it's just to get more use out of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Again, I'm going to be uh, drawing this evergreen tree over here. Um, and this evergreen tree, if we look at this thing, it looks to be like a 1 to, to 5.5 to a 1 to 6 rectangle for those that have had my drawing class. Uh, so if we're trying to think of what some of you would call the notional space or what is that, what's the rectangle that this object fits inside again you know that sort of thing you take it at its widest point and see one two three four almost so maybe I got maybe I I said I thought this was a five to six well I double checked it and it looks like it's not it looks like it's a one two three four maybe four and a quarter so it wasn't a five or six but it's four and a quarter still if I was going to then draw this and yes, for those who are like, well, you could just take the height and make it the exact same size. And yes, I could. But let's say I wanted to make that smaller or bigger. We could start off with our with an increment. In this case, being a square. And if this is four and a quarter times as tall as it is wide, a square is the same tall as it is wide. Well, then, just like we used, um, or at least I used to do when I was a kid, I had blocks. And you could stack these blocks, and they would have to be the same height as the original square, but I could actually build a rectangle that is, and I'm going to guess that this right here is about a quarter, and so I could build something that's a four and a quarter to one rectangle, if I so chose. Um, now I'm also, I'm drawing flat. Uh, this is how you never want to draw, but it, it makes it easier to record. And so this is actually in perspective to me. That's, and so it's, it seems to be stretching a bit, and that's one of the reasons I took the measurement was because, again, I have a little bit of a disadvantage in the way that I'm viewing this. Um, but the idea is if I wanted to, let's say I've been working with rectangles a lot and I already sort of have a feel for the height to which width ratio, so you don't necessarily have to put in the rectangles all the time. And even if I have it close, it'll still look like this, this object, you know, because again, it's a tree. And unless somebody had the exact tree and started taking measurements and started measuring my drawing based on this draw, uh, this object, again, that'd be the only way anyone would know, but no one ever really does that. So let's say we said, all right, well, let's jump ahead. And let's say that this, now I could say, hey, this leans a little bit. This is not... Um, this is not straight up and down. Okay, so if this is straight up and down, 
this tree has just a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit of lean. So maybe that's the, the you know the lean of this tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and just to frame this in the in the camera, make sure that it's not going outside my camera. I'm going to go ahead and because I know this is in the camera, so I'm just going to I'm going to reference the drawing real quick based on um, based on my picture because again I know that this is in the image. Um, go ahead and and I said well the basic shape of this if we drew a line around it, it's really a feather shape. So again, if we, you know, from that, my original, um, my original video that I did on trees, we talked a little bit about the basic shape of trees and that you can have, um, now when I say lollipop trees, obviously they're not going to be like, you know, exactly like a lollipop. Um, this little feather quote unquote, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be exactly like a feather. It's going to have its own uh, uniqueness to it. And, and I'm just taking a couple of, of sort of quick measurements to get my, uh, a better feel for this. So we can say, all right, well, this is the, the basic volume of that tree. Now, if this is my feather, and if I was worried about it, I could take the feather from the widest part and then go, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, and a half. So that's the right width and all that good stuff. But let's say we jumped right, you know, again, if you're someone who's like, ah, I, I feel like I've got a pretty good sense of proportion. Well, then we just go on to the next part, which we're going to take this little... Um, take our, our little feather and we're gonna, you know, this would be the vein down the feather or in this case it's the trunk for the tree. Now usually when we, the, the biggest problem that, that most people have with trees, well just like with anything actually, it's not unique to trees but it's for some reason, we, we just, there's, there's just so much going on with trees. Um, we can really get lost in all the information. And usually, the biggest part is usually we make trunks too wide. If I wanted to take the width of this and then divide it into the, the width of the trunk, which is about like that, into the width of the whole tree, we're going to find out it's probably going to go in like eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven you know, about eight times. And again, I don't have to really measure it. You know, we're not doing a portrait. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, but I can, I can use that to track. If this was only seven, not that big a thing, you know, could because of the fact that's closer. What usually happens with these things, okay, it's closer to eight. Well, what usually happens with these is they're way too thick. So you, they, they're putting on this big trunk this wide and the, the leaves stop here, and all of a sudden it seems like the trunk to tree ratio is way out of whack. And so again, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our little tree and we're going to give it, again, its, its trunk, and we don't want the trunk to be too thick. Why would we? We wouldn't want that. Um, this is going to come here. We're going to put just an indication of some little grass here so it looks like there's something overlapping in front of this tree trunk. This thing comes here and the, the tree's going to transition a little bit into the ground. Okay, it's, it's, it's not going to it's not going to end like a telephone pole. There's going to be a little bit of it coming down, getting a little bit wider and then at the towards the end widening out even more. So this would be and of course, we also have the trunk's going to get wider as it comes down and, and thinner as it goes up as the energy of that tree, you know, uh, and, and, it, and for gravity's sake, we need to, you know, it needs to be thicker at the bottom and all these sorts of things. Um, 
and so your tree gets of course thinner as it comes up we also talked about branches and how they you know divide you know the energy of trees and so if these branch if i put a branch on there that's as thick or thicker than the as the you know as, as thick as the trunk that's not right uh it's going to be thinner because you're dividing the energy of that trunk or the but if you have like let's say it's split into two again those two branches can't be wider the sum of those two branches can't be wider than the trunk and you might be able to find some weird looking tree out there where that happens but it won't normally happen that way and it'll always look weird so it doesn't matter uh, this is about where we're going to start our foliage now if i wanted sort of a just a rough indication sort of what the foliage does i could come over here and give myself you know, just a little bit of an indication of, of an outline, um, you know, if I, if I needed to uh, on this tree. And there's times when it's nice to have that. Just to, it's, kind of, it's kind of like gesture drawing for uh, portraits and, and people and stuff like that. It, it's basically a guide. We can start to think about how this tree looks and where and how it, you know, has little spaces between it so that, you know, we, we then have a particular guide. And then when we're also drawing trees, we're, there's times where we're going we're gonna to redesign what's actually there. Like this has this really thick clump right here. And then there's like, it gets really thin for quite some time. Um, if I keep that, I'm probably going to also, I guess it doesn't come in quite that much. It comes in over here, and then it goes in over there, and then that comes down here, and then that goes down there, and then it comes out, whatever. Um, but it's pretty, there, there's, there's very little foliage coming through here in the middle. And there's more on the left than, pardon me, on the right than there is on the left. And so I'm probably going to bring some areas here where I'm going to give it a little more thickness than the tree actually has to make it more balanced. If we've got a tree, you know, you can imagine if you've got a tree where, uh, this would be an exaggeration, where all the stuff is happening on this side, all this foliage, and then on this side we've got all these bare spots, it can just seem unbalanced. That's what's going on here, is that we seems like we have a very unbalanced tree, so we're gonna we're gonna try to try to um, correct that a little bit uh, as far as that goes. Now I could come over here and if I wanted to, I could begin to modify some of these a little bit um, as I'm as I'm as I'm drawing them, just to uh, get get a better feel for these different clumps. Of stuff <laughs> I think that's the technical term clumps of stuff on this tree and uh, again that's not gonna be a bad thing I'm not gonna sit here we're not doing a portrait we're really doing a a uh, caricature of a tree so it's not gonna be an exact match in terms of this tree it's just again it's a caricature it's the basic idea of what's happening on this tree um, as it's transitioning down towards the base or, or in other words the trunk and there's parts of this now this is the the this is the basic start I just have sort of a gesture here we're gonna get more into it than that we're gonna go ahead and start to you know really nail down what's happening but before we get too far into that we're going to start to bring out some branches. The fact that we're going to have these little branches coming off of here, as far as that goes. We're going to bring some of these branches that are going to support these little clumps of stuff. And we're going to have some branches coming from the, from the middle, so they're going to be leaning out a little bit more as they come forward towards us. And there's going to be other branches that are going to be, I guess these are actually, a lot of these are leaning down instead of going up. It's not until they get up towards the top that they start to come upwards as they start coming. We also have some coming downwards. But we're going to start just putting on some of these limbs for this, for this tree uh, as we're doing this. Let's see. That. Yeah. Um... We have some that are again coming down, some that are coming up, some that are, 
again coming down towards the coming down this way you got some that are at the middle coming down and hanging down this, you know this way or that way um, these are really going to be thin so I got to be careful that I'm thinking volume but they can't be too much volume where they're going to seem like you know again they're going to have too much going on for these for this tree like this right here seems like that's really thick but it's supposed to be ending at an, ed at an edge and it's just that I I, I drew it and I wasn't very clear just yet. I'm still kind of roughing this in. But again, the idea is that we're going to have these branches coming off. They're going to be supporting the, the needles on this tree. Right? And so we, get, we have to have some of those. Right, and so we're gonna we're gonna, now we're not gonna see all these branches just yet. I'm trying to think of of the support system that some of these that this tree has. So now again, the energy of that branch can't be coming in front of the main the main part that it's branching off of. But again, we can just start to put on some of these um, branching systems. And I also have to make sure I don't get too distracted by, there's a tree right next to it. And the, again, part of the hardest part about drawing trees is we can become too distracted by what's around the tree or to decide, hey, which which is the, which is the actual tree in a in a grove of trees, and so part of um, when we're when we're when we're drawing and or painting, and we're dealing with trees, we have to start to design and redesign and, and do all these things to help us again have a better idea of what's happening with this stuff. far as that goes and so again we're putting some branches on here this is just very much like we we're doing last whoops that's too thick that's a way thick branch for these supposedly wispy little branches um, as far as that goes and we even are going to start to, so as we're drawing this, there's a point where we're going to, you, you, we're going to have to start thinking of overlapping. So if this is a tree coming from behind the trunk, the trunk has to have a line, and then this is overlapping that line, saying that this is behind. Whereas if I have a trunk that's coming right off the side, I'm just kind of what, we got another one over here that does, kind of does this. Actually, it's not that long. What well, kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. But this one actually is coming right off the side. So this one, instead of having the line in front of it, it actually merges into that trunk saying this is coming right off the side. So it's merging into the trunk because it, it's neither in front nor in back. And so overlapping with this, uh, with these ideas, um, and thinking where the branches are coming from, just like we did, you know, on that last one where we had that sort of contemporary looking uh, tree, which was just this with arms and plates. And the idea is that we have that going on with a tree. We have arms and plates. And we want to be thinking about that as we're drawing this tree. Now, again, I think we're going to. That went a little far, I think. That went a little. So as I'm doing this, I'm constantly asking myself, you know, like this one went too long. It's just too long. Um, did I did I push that too far? Did it did it work or did it not? There's, you know, sometimes with with this where we can just it doesn't quite seem to work the way we wanted.
So again, I'm going to even trying to put branches in that I may or may not be able to see on this uh, on this tree. And then there's a couple that actually are hanging down as we get further down, like right about here, that we actually see coming off that tree very clearly. They're bigger branches as they you know wind you know, as they twist and turn and wind and all that sort of stuff. Remember, the branches are getting smaller as they come out and all that good stuff. Or again, we're seeing more of these little branches and twigs coming off of here. Um, same thing over here, more of the branches, more of the twigs. And when we first, first start doing something like this, uh, you know, sometimes it can seem really rough. Like right now, seeming really rough, but that's okay. It's, it's all about ask yourself, okay, well, was that too thick? Or does that s seem to be in the wrong place? Or does the design of this seem to be need to be a little different? Does the does it seem like I, I, I zigged when I should have zagged? You know, um, and uh, don't be afraid to, to then uh, change it up if that's the case. And once we've got a few of these, which I think we're, we're, we're getting close to where we have, you know, quite a few of these little sticks and things. And now we're going to come in here and we're going to do, we're going to deal with the contour. So again, this is, this, this has on um, these little, you know, it's, has the needles, right? And so we're going to come in here and we're, we're going to essentially be using, you know, the idea of sort of triangles in and out, you know, rounded triangles perhaps. But the idea that we're going to come in here to, to create something, and I should probably um, get out of the way here so you can actually see what I'm doing. But we're going to be bringing like little triangles and, and, and things like that to, to, to give the feeling of, oh yeah, this is, these are needles on some sort of an evergreen, right? So we're going to come out here. Like so, and we're going to start putting on some of these different little shapes as we're creating this. Like so. And again, we're going to come back down here. Like that. Um, and again, we're just going to keep working on filling out part of this tree. As far as that goes. And again, we're going to have stu some stuff that's behind the tree. Like there's this, again, there's this these bat these branches from behind uh that they're, they're gonna you know be coming around the tree in, at some places um some of them however that was actually the back tree so i'm going to take a couple of these out i'm gonna leave a couple of them in but I, again i have to remember that there's a tree behind here and what is part of that tree and what is not. And I think and those were definitely part of that tree. I'm gonna I'm gonna nix this part of that stick right there, that branch. We're gonna nix that. So we can see part of the the clear trunk. And that's gonna be important too. There's gonna be parts we want to actually have to clarify a tree. It's nice to have again part of the trunk showing. If everything in that trunk is covered it's really hard to get the feeling that it's like a tree. Um, so again, we're going to want some of that trunk. And we're also going to have some of this stuff coming across the front of the trunk. So the trunk is not going to be visible everywhere. Like up through here, there's just a couple places where you don't have stuff coming again in front of that, of that trunk, crossing in front of it, covering it up. And so we're going to have part of that going on here as well, where we're going to have, again, parts of these, these branches in front that are going to be coming in front of these other sorts of
And again, I'm looking for little sky holes a little bit. And some of this can get really confusing. So uh, what I'm going to do on some of these, and again, some of these will show the, you'll actually see part of the branch again coming off the tree. And that's, there's others where you won't because it's so thick you can't hardly see, you know, much of that branch. Uh, there's, there's times where we might indicate it anyways. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and just, at the very least, now, this is actually, again, a tree that has needles. So um, I'm going to keep them a little bit more, um, I'm going to keep them a little more angular. I'm not, I, I, instead of doing like concentric circles to, to get that little sponge look like what we were doing before, I want to make sure that I'm, again, staying out of the way while, while we are drawing to give the, the look of this, look of this tree. This goes in here, that comes down there. And again, this is just for, I some people will call it tracking, meaning I just need to, I need to make sure I don't get lost. And uh, that, that's very important that I don't get lost on this thing. And um, so I can use this so that all these squiggles actually have some meaning. They're not just, again, just this random stuff that I, you know, because this becomes like a, like a puzzle. There's going to be a, a point if I don't, if I don't keep, you know, if I don't stay on my guard and, 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 and do some of this mapping, I'll just get lost. I won't know where I'm at. And that's not going to help my drawing. And, and, you know, as I'm, as I'm doing this, that ain't going to help anybody. So, again, we're going to go ahead and just um, do a little bit of this, this mapping stuff. As far as that goes. And so there's a, a lot that I'm trying to, there's a lot I'm trying to keep in mind. There's a lot I'm trying to do with this. As I'm working, I don't want to, you know, I'm trying to keep from getting too distracted by what, what, I'm, what I'm putting down, um, trying not to uh, forget, you know, what I was, you know, what I, what I was, what's, what's tree and what's not. So again, with all these little, little squiggles and stuff, you can start to get lost in there very, very, very quickly. And so again, on something like this, we'll just keep building at this point where we're going to go ahead and... Start to, you know, again, build a little bit more on here as far as that goes. Onto this tree. Again, this tree is coming here, and there's a little bit of, again, these branches coming across there. That's the trunk, and there's some more coming across here like this, and then there's the trunk. So, again, I'm trying to keep in, in mind what's trunk and what's not. Now, normally I do this a little bit lighter, but there's no, this is not the time to be timid at this point. You know, I don't have, don't have the time to be, you know, too timid with it. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with this. And again, so there's a parts where it starts to get thinner and then again you see part of the branch. And then you'll start to have, you know, again, it'll, there'll be some clutter and, and something else going on and, and you, you'll lose it again. Uh, whenever we're drawing, that's, that's a little something called lost and found line. Uh, sometimes also called lost and found edge. If you're not dealing with, you know, with a pencil and you're dealing with, with painting and you're You've got paint, you're painting shapes. Well, there'll be times where that shape will get lost. And that's, that's so sometimes people will refer to it as lost and found shape inst instead of lost and found line. And usually, and you can do it in drawing too, you can use lost and found shape, but many times people are referring to uh, drawing versus painting when they start pulling out those different terms like that. As far 
as that goes. And again, when we're doing just one tree, I tried to find one that's as clean as possible so we don't get uh, you know, lost. It's, very, it's, it's much easier to deal with the tree uh, without again being too distracted by little stuff and all this. Um, again, once, once we uh, get, once you get used to dealing with just you know, you know trees like you know individual trees, then, then we do groupings. Uh, and of course with groupings, it, the hardest part about drawing trees and groupings is there are, there's a lot of redesigning where you're like, oh, okay, this is what's happening, but we're, uh, we're gonna go ahead and change that. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear the brush out around the trunk of this one, and then the far one I don't care so much about. You know, so there's th times where you have to, when I say redesign, a lot of times we're doing it for clarity's sake. We're trying to, to be very clear about what it is that we are in fact doing and more importantly why we are doing it because that's you know that's as important as anything else as far as that goes so um, again we're still just working on the um, of course the Looks like that's coming off there. I need to figure out. Yeah, I think I'll I'll, I'll leave it. Well, I'll leave that going down. I think instead of having it just broken off, I think that might be a little nicer. Seems like it's maybe it's not. You know, maybe I need to lift it a little bit so it comes off of here, so it doesn't seem to intersect the exact same place of this other one. Okay, and as we come down again, we're going to again try to, and again, this isn't. We're not doing a portrait of this tree, so if you're looking at this, going, man, this, you know, there's a lot of it that we're just we're just going for it. This is what I'd call a caricature. So we're 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 giving a nod to what the tree is doing, but we're not trying to do an exact likeness. If we're trying to do an exact likeness, that would turn a a one hour or 45 minute drawing into a six to eight hour drawing because now you're trying to do you know it's like those people that, are, that draw in the in the fairs where they're doing caricatures you know you can do you know a very you know if you're very fast you can do a semi decent caricature in you know 10 minutes 20 minutes that sort of thing and people do like stuff like that all the time in the fairs and and all that fun stuff and they're a lot of fun you can't do a halfway decent formal portrait in eight hours. You're lucky if you can do a halfway decent one in 10 to 15 hours. So it's just, there's a difference because now you're trying to make sure you got the, the nuances and the freckles in the right place and the, you know, that you've got the, the hair parting exactly and that it has a look that the family recognizes as that person and a semblance that, you know, you're worried about so much more stuff than, you know, putting a, a pair of trunks and on somebody and having them lift barbells and you know with a really big head and hair that kind of looks like this and eyes that kind of look like that but really are just more symbols than anything else and um, that's that's the difference we're actually we're not worrying about we're, we're, we're not worrying about a whole lot of stuff that's that's going on in this because this is a caricature of a tree not a not a portrait of a tree okay and uh, I guess if I wanted to, we'd come in on this tree and we could start to do a little bit more on the trunk so we know where the trunk is versus um, where some of the other parts are. And again, we're trying to make sure that we do have, we can see parts of the trunk, which you will, 
and this sort of a tree. And usually in every tree there's a little part and sometimes we, even if we can't see it, we'll go, okay, can't see it, but I'm going to put it in there because it makes more sense. And, and doing something that makes more sense, uh, artists do all the time. And so we have to be comfortable enough with it to, uh, to change it. And that's the hard part many times with, with uh, drawing trees, is that we're, when we're not in the beginning, we're like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Hard to get anything that looks even like a tree, but if we can keep, again, somewhat of a symmetrical, a little bit of symmetry on both sides, approximately. It's not dead on symmetrical, but it's that approximate symmetry where it will have the basic same amount, you know, of stuff on each side. It's a little less symmetrical than us, but you might have one arm that's a quarter of an inch longer than the other, but you know, it's an arm. You know, it, it, it may not be exactly the same, but it's pretty close. And, and there's a lot of this. There can be more variation with, with something like a tree, but it's gonna, it's the same sort of thing. It should have limbs on both sides, and they should be approximately about the, the same lengths enough, because if it's way off, it starts to look just weird. We start going, what is, what, what's, what's going on with that tree? Why does that tree look that way? Mm. So we don't, we don't want that happening. So uh, again, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll try to keep the tree a little darker. I didn't think I was originally going to do it. You know, I was going to give myself a little more time, but let's, let's kick this up a bit, shall we? Um, so again, this is, this is that that tree going up there and the tree we're going to have against oh, some of these we're going to have some branches that are, that are going to be um, indicated and some are getting lost and so we want to be able to there's a part where you can see a little bit of this branch and a little bit of the the branches coming off of that guy and there's other parts where we can't see them at all there's a part of this where we've got again a branch kind of Coming off here, whoops, came off of there a little bit too much. We've got another one kind of coming off this way from up here. And I just kind of moved it down a little bit. Uh, there's another, again, this little branch that's kind of wisping its way through here. And we're just going to try to keep that, a little bit of that, you know, around. A little bit of, you know, some branch through here. All right. And we're going to have, again, some of these coming into here with the, um, you know, with these um, little bits of tree. Uh, the the the, the uh, pine needles, the groupings of pine needles, are going to be you know breaking through in some places. Um, all right. Again, so we've got basically a tree trunk. Okay, so, and I, I've got some of this mapped out a little bit more um, as far as that goes. And that's you know also a good thing as we're as we've got you know. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back in here. And again, we're going to start to try to see if we can find and, you know, play up some of the little bits of this, this tree and some of its branching systems and other places that aren't branching systems and all that good stuff. But we're going to try to bring in some of these, these, um, 
I think we're going to go ahead and bring in some of the pine needles. So, so again, like we did with that basic idea of a tree, is we started putting in, you know, sort of the the sponge texture. Now, these are going to be again a little bit more, a little smaller, and a little more uh, sort of tri smaller, almost triangles or bits that are you know, tear shaped, or you know, again triangles, things like that, uh, that we're going to try to uh, bring in here and give the idea that. They are indeed some, you know, some sort of, some sort of needle or something. Um, that was a little too harsh there at the end, so it looks like, um, it just it looks like straw or something weird. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and come back in here, um, come back in here. This then gets a little bit lighter. This it's this is in back, so this is a little darker in there. Um, so we look at this. This is again getting a little bit back into there. That's a that's a sky hole. Uh, so again, we're gonna where we actually can see the sky coming through the tree and stuff like that. And so we can start to uh, by doing this, we're gonna start to. So we have the uh, an underside of the tree versus the, uh, the the lighter side of the needles. We're gonna try to deal with just a little bit of that as we're as we are, as, as we've got some of this going on. Um, uh, again, so we're going to have, again, leave some of that as that is getting lighter. And then you've got some stuff that's going sort of medium. And the other stuff that's just, you know, as dark as we can go and all this good stuff. And so we want, we want some of this to be happening. And again, I'm just, um, there's certain ones of these that are actually going to be pushed all the way back. Like there's some that are in shadow going behind the tree like this right here. That again, we're going to keep very, very dark. And I think I've lost just a little bit of some of these guys. So I'm actually going to come back in with my, with my eraser on some of these and pull back some of these that got just a little blown out as we were dealing, or as we were trying to create some of this. Uh, there's also this that's going to be again a little darker as that's showing the shadow side uh, of these of these sort of these needles, um, and then we've also got where we see just a little bit of the little bit of the trunk coming through there, and then we've got you know some of this coming over to here, but then this is lighter. So we've got some of these little groupings that, and I'm keeping my eyes out of focus because we don't want to we don't want to get lost in all this information, all the detail. Or to coin, an, you know, the minutia. If you hear people throw that around because they have a word calendar or something, but the if anyone even has those anymore, I guess you have some apps that are the equivalent. But we're just going to keep on work, keep on keeping on. We're going to keep working on this thing. We got the light from this side. We can we have some stuff over here that's all, you know, in very dark shadow sorts of things, and then we have other areas that are middle value and other areas that are light. And so, and again, I'm trying to keep some of the, I'm using a, a sort of a straighter, a striation to this to kind of indicate some of these, some of these needles and such. And, and we want some of that because that's going to be, you know, again, we have some of these sky holes that got blown out a little bit. Um, and so the sky holes become very important as we're, as we're dealing with this stuff, um, and so we're just we're just again we're just gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing, as we have this tree. Now again, I think part of this, um, I really need to start to clarify some things on this tree, and so I'm gonna keep some of these. Uh, the needles, if you will, a little a little lighter. In fact, I'm going to use an H here's my HB pencil. Okay, uh, that way I'll just be a little easier to keep this a little lighter as I'm as I'm as I'm dealing with some of these some of these elements. Um, I think it's a little thick out there, so we're going to lighten that up a little bit. Um, maybe pull this back a little bit um, on that tree. Then we're going to go ahead and 
there's some part of this tree that goes again dark because there's and there's some stuff up here that's again behind the tree that we want to deal with and start to put in there that this is far distant all the way behind the tree sorts of things so it's going to be very 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 dark now this will be again sort of very 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 dark in some places that is um, some of these will actually see part of these again these branches as it opens up that are actually behind the tree and we'll just keep those very very dark and keep the other ones a little lighter as they as they uh, wind around the the tree backwards and forwards and all this sort of fun stuff um, trying to find the edge of the the edge of of the trunk got to find the edge of the trunk over here um, again there's there's a part where we have these come together there's these two branches but there's a top of one branch and I'm going to try to see if I can well we have the sky hole and now the top of that branch look like they're the same the same and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and knock that back okay push that back a little bit okay um, so again we're going to sew some of these that are really in front and again some of these will be again we'll start to see like this is casting a shadow onto this one as far as that goes so this is again casting a shadow onto this group of branches now I can't really see much of the branch but I'm going to put some of it in here because it will help it to go oh that's a branch uh, that will make a little more sense that way than if I than if I left it out and again I'm just I'm trying to get some of that back in there um, you know again we're just using different little bits to give ourselves some texture and um, I think that's a little bit too too dark I think it's it's starting to merge with some of the stuff behind it so I'm going to lighten that up and then I grab my 2H pencil so I want a little bit lighter. I'm going to come back in here with some, again, some textures to, to give that some, some farm, some form. And uh, have some fun with it. Now I'm even changing a little bit how my original, um, the way we plotted this out. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. So... You know, don't be afraid to, you know, if you, again, we're doing just a caricature. This just has to look somewhat like this tree. I think that was a mistake. I think that went pushed out too far. So I think we'll just pull it back, bring this back here. I, try, I think I like a little bit better. Um, and again, I think there's going to be some, like, vestiges of smaller stuff breaking away from this. So I'm going to put just a little bit sort of, of that happening right along there and maybe that got too looks like it was all the same so I'm going to pull that back out you know what I think it's getting too full on that side I changed my mind I'm going to open back up into it like there bring this across just a little bit and uh, I think I like that better where's my 4B I'm going to come back in here and again we're going to darken some of this usually as the stuff you're going to get some of the darkest stuff right against the tree and the tree trunk on something like this but so look for that look you know again we're going to try to make our little sponge texture over here and we're going to have it a little bit lighter on the stuff that's forward so like where this touches this this will definitely be darker and this will be lighter and then the, where this hits here this is going to go darker again Uh, even darker than the now it's this is graphite so it's going to get really shiny if I'm not careful usually we do this with charcoal so it's a little more matte um, and of course when we have the stuff that's coming across the, the, the tree that unfortunately there's a couple places where it looks like it's got it gotten ignored just a little bit um, so let's go ahead and make sure that this stuff is is uh, coming across that that tree a little bit obscuring a little bit what's you know the, the the trunk because it's coming in front of there 
Now I think we're gonna come over here and pull some of this out. Give a little bit more of that. That's a little bit too much of a, of a triangle. You know, so we're gonna put another shape beside it to soften that just a bit. Break out of that shape. Uh, as far as that goes. And um, grab my 2H pencil, knock that back down. Okay. And let's see. Um, continue to just keep drawing on this thing uh, as far as that goes. As again, it's going to be some of these parts that come across there, they're going to, you know, we're going to let them catch a little bit of light. And again, they're breaking up all that dark to show that it's coming across the tree. Um, let's go ahead and use an HP for this one. So again, bring this through here. Clean this up a little bit, clarify what's what's happening in there. So that's what's, you know, we're, I'm using the, not just the pencil, but also my eraser again to clarify, you know, the, 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 the marks that we're making on, on this tree. And there's times we need that. Other times, maybe not so much, but this is certainly one of those times when we need some of that clarity come across there. This again, I want to go ahead and use a lighter pencil. This will be an HB as we're making these making these marks. And I'm making such uh, distinct marks that I'm working so quickly that uh, you may be hearing a little bit of the table shaking as, you know, I'm, again, I'm trying to make these marks very quickly. And so that's what, that's what's going on here is that there's just trying to really try to get through here. And like that, you can hear the whole thing shaking as I'm, again, trying to get this to read, as we'd say, in other words, look right. It's, um, we have some, some underneath here that are going to, from behind, that we're going to darken just a little bit. And maybe some in just some other places. Um... And let's see. Yeah. All right, so again, we're blowing out across that trunk a little bit more. And we're going to bring this out, out here a little bit. So again, this is a little bit of those needles coming across and breaking outside of the, of this uh, trunk a little bit. Clean this up a little bit. Come back in here with this. Okay. Um, again, some of this is getting really so again. Some of this it's really dark back here. Again, we've got to we've got to deal with. All right, and then we're going to get our, oh, that was my HB. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give it, see if we can get a little bit more darkness out of it with this 4B pencil. And um, let's see, a little more into there. 
and maybe uh, some of this comes up a little bit because of shadows and cast shadow and begins to cut into this just a scotch um, so again we're just continuing to uh, and we're always looking for sort of this this sort of the randomness is there is this shape too much the same on either side and if it is we probably ha there's going to be we're going to look at our picture and we'll go oh no actually it's there's a little bit more sort of that randomness of nature there's there's going to be a one side that's going to go perhaps have a, a little bit of what almost looks like a bite out of it while the other one is seems to be fuller or something like that so there's always this stuff happening with there we go uh, with nature that's again making a little her a little bit or him or her a little bit more random um, as we are as we are drawing okay so and this is really in this kind of a tree the sky holes are as important as as anything else and so as we're again as we're drawing as we're looking for you know these 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 spaces between stuff is as important as the stuff itself and uh that, that's really 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 helps us to have again that feeling of these you know very thick areas versus areas that are less thick and so forth and so on So, all right. Got my HP pencil. Again, we're just going to go ahead and. All right. So, again, this is. There's, there's a wonderful um, abstraction to nature, and that's what we're playing with, these, these variations, these ideas, these things that are, you know, happening that, that may or may not be. Um, we're always asking ourselves, hey, can I change, you know, this or that to make it more interesting? Is, does this little shape need to be closer to this rather than this so that it's a little less all of the same stuff? Is there, like this, there's a little sort of a line going in there can I break it up into you know smaller medium and large sorts of shapes is there stuff like that that would help and and a lot of times again with there's these sorts of trees stuff like that really can help it really becomes again very very important as we're as we're creating this that we have some of those elements to help the the feeling of this tree to feel more to embrace its it's it's pine treeniness, if you will. It's pine treeness. <laughs> That's not a word. It's terrible. It's terrible English. But you know, what I mean, we're trying to get this to just look like this tree. This you know, this evergreen, tall, majestic, you know, tree. And we want some of these um, elements that again give it the feeling of that tree. And again, a lot of this is we need the branching system to to be. You know, in some places to be aware of that, in other places we're we're letting it go. And in, again, in certain places the the tree trunk gets very benign, and then in other places it's it's not. And you know, and we're looking for places where we're seeing some of that. Other places where we're not. As far as that goes, um, grab this two H. Uh, some of these, uh, it's you know, I, I haven't skipped enough to leave little striations to make it sort of feel like it has 
you know, again, these little areas of needles. And so like this one, I lightened it, but then I went back in with a 2H because it's going to go a little bit darker and it'll leave the lighter. Because I'm basically, I'm actually engraving into this a little bit more than I normally would want to. But since this is, you know, this is, anyways, I, I'm in a, a little bit of a hurry. But it's not bad either because, again, I, I'm, I'm, I already planned out what I want for the most part. And now I'm just uh, making it more clear. So instead of just carving in, like I tell people don't, not to carve, you know, um, in their paper, unless you're very, very clear. There's certain techniques when you're, might be certain types of hatching. And um, there's a wonderful example. This was, a, I believe it's Paul Kelly, C-A-L-L-E, that wrote the, the book, um, The Pencil. And he has a wonderful style and, and very much about a carving into the paper, but hat, with hatching and, and cross hatching and, and all this stuff and he just did amazing amazing sorts of things and uh and, and he was carving all the time you know really getting that 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 pencil down into the paper but not only that but the way he would start to put lines in would start to indicate textures and things uh that didn't otherwise seem like they would be there and um you know he just was he was a master of that i mean his if you if you want if you want to look at some great pencil work, go and get that book. Check it out. Um, find it wherever you can, and and you'll just see somebody who it will astound you, what this guy could do. Uh, with line and, and pencil, and it was all pencil work. Uh, he eventually be, uh, began painting. I've seen some of his his uh, stuff, and um, again he's just a but he's just an extraordinary draftsman. He's an extraordinary. He, he's using understanding of depth. He's using understanding of, of space and value. And then he's, he's, imp he's imposing a style on top of that. So instead of having, you know, sort of this, just a style that, that, that doesn't, sometimes there's styles that, that don't care about that sort of stuff. And it becomes just a style. Um, Paul was not that way. He was very aware of, of depth and edge and atmosphere and, you know, atmospheric perspective and just whatever he was doing. It, and it, because of that, it had a depth in a way that, that you're not going to find. And his style was so, I mean, it was clear. This is a style. Uh, I hate to use the word heavy-handed because that seems to imply that it, it wasn't sophisticated. His was heavy-handed, but it was also the most sophisticated use of pencil I have ever seen and have yet to see uh, as far as that goes. And... Um, it just shows you how it was almost like engraving as much as it was working with pencil. Um, like the old bills where they were engraved in these steel plates. Um, or if they weren't steel, some sort of metal plate. And they were engraved um, by, by hand. Uh, it's the old ones and stuff like that. And again, you could when you have engravings, you can print quite a few. Uh, obviously, they were printing money, so engravings work very well. But... Um, it's just, it's just a, it, it, for those that, that are experts in engraving, it's amazing what they can do. And uh, Paul was as good as, as anybody out there that I've ever seen. It was amazing, again, what he would do. And I can't say enough good about him. Uh, it's not like I'm getting any, I don't get any kickbacks for that, for anyone's buying that book. But I'm just saying, if you want to see stuff that will just make you rethink about the way to use a pencil, grab that book. I mean, there is nothing better. Uh, there are certain... You know, certain people that, and you'll hear artists, you know, talk about their favorites uh, among, you know, like inking and and working with color and, you know, um, whatever. But everyone's got their favorites in, in different industries. Um, in terms of the pencil, uh, he is unmatched, in my opinion. Uh, just what he could do was amazing. And it, it has to do, again, it has to do with line, it has to do with value, it has to do with all the stuff. All the different, he's got every cert, every rule of drawing is reflected. In, and he was an illustrator for, I guess, many years. At least his stuff appears to be illustration. I could be wrong. I'm certainly not an expert on the man's um, biography or his, you know, his... his